Shalom to the elect. I want to start by giving all the praises, honor, and glory to whom it rightfully belongs, which is Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash, Yahweh being the true name of the Heavenly Father. Yahweh is the one in the world ignorantly called God. Yahweh meaning He, and Hawa meaning to be or exist. So Yahweh's name means He is, or He to be or He exists. All right, Yahweh is not a so called white man, he's a so called black man. Bahashem meaning in the name, Ba meaning in, Ha meaning the, Shem meaning name. And Yahweh Shai is the true name of the Messiah. Yahweh Shai is the one in the world ignorantly calls Jesus. All right. Yah meaning he. And Yahweh Shai meaning save or deliver. So, yeah. so Yahweh Shai's name means he is the savior or he is the deliverer. All right. Yahweh is the meaning in the name. Yahweh Kadash meaning Holy Spirit. Yahweh meaning spirit of Kadash meaning holy. By the way, Yahweh Shai also is not a so-called white man. It's a so-called black man. So what I said was praise and honor and glory belongs to Yahweh, the name of Yahweh Shai, the name of the Holy Spirit, double honors to the apostles and elders of GMS, all right, which is short for Great Millstone, never well, you know, they're the ones I learned this truth from, peace, blessings, and salutations to the elect, all right, and, you know, this lesson, you know, it's just talking to Jake on her job, man, you know, and pretty much one of the things, you know, one of the I, you know, one of the things, well, let me say it like this, one of the, of all the wicked things in here, you know, uh, in the society, you know, just out of all the wicked things in the society, you know, just really, you know, this lesson, you know, talking about one of them, and that's women, you know, just talking with a Jake, man, and you know, it, it, it you know, all these, all these heathen women do it, all right, are wicked, but, you know, you really, I really, you know, just speaking, you know, from what I've seen, you know, I really most likely see it, I'm, I really, you know, see it happen a lot, if not even more so with the Israelite woman, you know, the so-called black, Hispanic, and Native American woman, you know, wickedness, just pouring out of them like, a, like, a, like, a, like water, you know, they're wicked, man, these women in general are wicked. Okay, and see, when I was talking with the Jake, you know, he was telling me how the, you know, the woman he was dealing with was really unfaithful and all of that, you know, committed adultery, etc. You know, and he's in the world, you know. It wasn't a so-called black woman, you know. I was surprised. All right, but um, you know, it was Northern Kingdom woman. All right, but I ain't gonna say all of the details. Okay, but pretty much. You know, he, um, I, when I was talking to him, I was listening to him, and he was telling me, I was like, man, you know, he don't have the truth. You know, he don't have the truth. So, you know, of course, you know, with these, you know, alpha men or alpha male, you know, podcasts and things and red pill things coming out in these last days, once again, remember that started, you know, the apostles and elders of Great Millstone are the ones that started. Okay. And after that, all these podcasts and stuff came up. All right. But, you know, with that being out there, you know, of course, you know, he's going to pick up on a little bit of game, you know, how to maneuver off, you know, from that, you know, how to build off of that. OK, but he don't have the truth, man. OK, now, I'm going to start off with this scripture now that I said that this is the book of Proverbs 31 and 3. And it says, give not thy strength unto women, nor thy ways to that which destroyeth kings. So, you know, and this is what a lot of, you know men fail to do a lot of men fail to not give their strength on the women you know a lot of men fail with that this is why you know a woman she um you know manipulates them so easily you know and the men get heartbroken and everything you know give not that strength on the woman meaning you know pretty much you know don't give your time your energy your resources to these women you know don't do that, okay? It's gonna save you a lot of trouble. It's gonna save you a lot of trouble, man. You see, in this truth, all right, you know, the elect are, be, are, are learning to become high value men. They are the true high value men, you see? You know? It's truth, you know, they learn different things about these women, you know? They learn about them. Learn how these women act. And one of the other things 
the man was, you know, the, the dude was telling me, you know, he was pretty much saying how her friend, you know, looked like a HOV. You know, he was a touch, HOV. And as I was just now thinking about that, you know, look, look at look at the way these women out here address today, man. What do the scriptures say? All right, this is the book of Sirach, chapter 26 and verse 25. A shameless woman shall be counted as a dog. All right. So a woman that has no shame, you know, she shall be counted as a dog, man. All right. What is a female dog? A bitch. All right. You know, you look at these women out here, man. You know, they, they walk out revealing unless it's cold out. And shit, I've seen even in the cold, even in the freezing cold, they wearing bullshit, man. You know, being all immodest. Okay. I've seen that with my own very own two eyes. Lock it for the background noise. All right. You know, I see that with my own two eyes, man. These women be immodest as all hell, man. You know, and us as men, you know, we look at it and be like, damn, that shit, you know, it does look kind of good. But you got to remember, these women are whores, man. Majority of these women are whores. Okay? Majority of them are whores. You know? And here's another thing, too. You see, man, the scriptures really do put us on game. <laughs> the scriptures really do put us on game because one thing I hear I always hear in the world you know when uh, you, you know you might you know on Instagram or whatever you look on social media you see these posts of um you know how a woman messed up you know or, or did something foul to a man and then a the man you know pretty much saying don't trust these women you know hey <laughs> hey man you know look and then under the under it's lucky. I have my, my train of thought pause, but once again, you know, you see on social media these posts that talk about how uh, a woman, you know, did something foul to a man and the man turns around and says, you know, don't trust these women, you know, you know, all girls are the same and stuff, you know, and then under the post, you'll be seeing women that talk, that, that say, um, all women are like this though, okay, now I'll say this, before I get the next scripture, one, you know, you gonna have some women that you know are trying their best to do what's right in the eyes of Yahweh Bahasim Yahushai. You know, they have a man staying faithful to their man, etc., being modest, etc. You know, but then, but the scriptures say this. Okay, this is Ecclesiastes chapter seven and verse twenty-six. And this is King Solomon, man. And King Solomon had a lot of women. He had a lot of women, so he definitely knows what he's talking about. King Solomon, all right was one of Yahweh Shai's past reincarnations, all right? And it's it, all right? So Ecclesiastes 7 and 26, it says, and I find more bitter than death, the woman, all right? <laughs> the woman, I find more bitter than death, the woman, whose heart is as snares and nets, not word heart. Let me, let me, let me prove it, man, all right? Because this, you know, needs to be known, man, all right? See, the scriptures really do put us on game. I seen a comment somewhere on social media. It said the Bible, is, you know, they, they well, they was pretty much saying the Bible is the most red pill book they've ever seen or something, you know. But pretty much what they mean it is, you know, once again, the scriptures really put us on game, man. This is Ecclesiastes 7 and 26 for that word heart, for that heart, for that, you know, in that scripture. All right. And when you look it up, the Hebrew word this is why it's good to go into words, man. All right, the Hebrew word is lob. All right, and it says inner man mind. So it's talking about your mind. When the word heart means mind, you know, sometimes in the scriptures, okay? So let's read it again. Ecclesiastes 7 and 26. And I find more bitter than death the woman whose heart or mind is that snares the nets. And a snare and nets is a trap, okay? So the Bible is saying, all right, that, you know, these are, you know, these women. You know, they're, um, they're always thinking about a way to trap you up. This is why they get men caught up in child support, all right? Or you tell them, or for example, you know, you might tell them a real, you know, secret of secret, okay? You know, like for example, I seen this one woman saying, you know, if you break her heart or whatever, you know, and you're a felony, she's going to pretty much rat you out or something, you know? You know, women, or you see, you know, like for example, different rappers or whatever, or even just men in general, you know? Um, a woman, she'll, you know, she'll try to, you know, get together with a dude, you know, to so-called hang out, 
But meanwhile, really, she's just setting them up. Okay, this is the truth. This is the hardcore truth. You see, in the world, they teach you, you know, oh, you got to be the nice guy, you know? You got to you gotta treat her, you know, pretty much got to exalt the woman. You know, this is a, a woman's, um, you know, this is a, 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 a matriarchal society. Look that term up, matriarchal society. Okay, this woman, this, this society just upholds and uplifts the woman, you know? In the world, they treat, they, they you know, they, they, um, they, they tell you these things, man. You know? They tell you these things in the world, man. You know, they say, um, what else do they say? You know, print, or, you know, <laughs> if she's cold, you know, you give her sweater, you give your jacket to her, you know? Man, or, or if she's walking and it's a puddle, put your jacket down. You know, sometimes, you know, those can have different other meanings, but I ain't, man, I ain't put my jacket down on no goddamn puddle, you know, so bitch. Just for her to, uh, you know, just for her to walk over so she can't get her fucking feet wet, you know? <clears throat> or, uh, or what's the name? Or, um, you know, my jacket get all dirty. Hell no, man. You know, or, or every or every time, every single time, you know, you walk through the door, you hold the door. I'm not doing that shit. Okay? I ain't doing that. <laughs> All right, for some goddamn woman. You know what it says? And I find more bitter than death, more bitter than death, the woman whose heart is as snares and nets, and her hands is bands. And it says, Whoso pleaseth, the most high shall escape from her, but the sinner shall be taken by her, right? Now, continuing to verse 27, right, which is the point I was making, because, um, you know, verses 27, 28, this is the point I was making, all right, because, you know, you see these people say, Oh, all women ain't like that. All women ain't like that. The majority of them are. This is Ecclesiastes 7 and 27. I'm going to read this in the NLT, actually. Ecclesiastes chapter 7 and verse 27, starting in verse 27 in the NLT. It says, this is my... It's a lot. Hold on. All right. It says, this is my conclusion. It says the teacher... I discovered this after looking at the matter from every possible angle. <laughs> Verse 28. Though I have searched repeatedly, I have not found what I was looking for. Only one out of a thousand men is virtuous, but not one woman. So I'm, I'm going to read that in the, in the verse in, in the KJV now. Ecclesiastes 7 and 28, which says, Which yet my soul seeketh, but I find not one man among a thousand have I found. So like it says, Salaki, Salaki, let me reread that. Ecclesiastes 7 and 28. But yet my soul seeketh, but I find not. One man among a thousand have I found, but a woman among all those have I not found. So, hey, so in, George, so in reality, none of these women are, are in order. None of them. Okay? <laughs> you know? You gotta remember this, man. See? That's why, you know, you can really kind of know what to expect when dealing with a woman you know you know but as a man being in the truth you know you know as a man of the lord you know you have you know different all you well you have certain standards that you are not going to cross okay you ain't gonna be doing you ain't gonna be sipping this shit man this bitch gotta stop all right you know you gotta stop that shit all right women themselves don't even like that you know what i mean but um and there's actually a scripture that goes into that. Okay? You know? There's a um, scripture that actually goes into that. So I can get real quick. See? But what the Jake was telling me, man, you know, it was really, I was like, damn. You know? And these women are going to get it, especially the so-called black women. Oh, especially. I seen an article came out a couple months back. If not a couple months, then, you know, maybe a year or so. It was pretty much saying how the so-called black woman, all right, is the most, the most, <laughs> the most unfaithful, all right, in relationships, you know? And that's, that's the truth, man. You know, are you going off or not? Or now are you going off or getting with a so-called black woman? No, you're not, all right? But it's just not, <laughs> it's just not the top preference, okay? It, 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 it's, it's, you know, it's just not the best idea. You hear the apostles and other great ministers say, leave the so-called black woman alone. And, you know, from time to time, you know, I talk to 
to a so-called black woman, if I really feel like, you know, she's cool or whatever, you know? But I ain't getting with him, though, you know? I ain't getting with him. I don't like the so-called black woman, you know? I just happen to talk to him, you know, every now and then. But, you know, <clears throat> this is... Yeah, and by the way, let me get this real quick. Matter of fact, I'm going to just get the scripture I was looking for. All right, this is First Ezra, the fourth chapter. And, well, you could, matter of fact, you could read this. Matter of fact, no, I'll read it. All right, this is First Ezra, first four chapter, chapter, so like it, first Ezra chapter four, verse, starting verse 23. Yea, a man taketh his sword and goeth his way to rob and to steal and to sail upon the sea and upon rivers and looketh upon a lion and goeth in the darkness. And when he has stolen, spoiled and robbed, he bringeth it to his love. So he don't went, you know, you ever see them old movies or them old ancient world movies, you know, a man, you know, it would be a woman, you know, this man is in love with. And so he crosses seas and conquers animal you know wild beasts and animals and stuff and get some type of treasure you know or something you know he goes and brings up just to bring it back to woman to prove his love for her or something you know he will hear this he put his whole life in danger just for this woman you know just for a woman <laughs> you know I even and then said when he has stolen spoiled and robbed you know so he's he's you know <laughs> I even heard what's the name that 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 dumbass black bitch named Sexy Ray. You know, I heard her say pretty much, um, you know, something happened to where. And and I think today is Valentine's Day, if I'm not mistaken. So I can let me just double check that. Yup, that's the spirit. You know, it's Valentine's Day, man. And here here it is. I didn't even realize. You know, I didn't even realize it's the spirit, man. You know, here it is. Valentine's Day. You go have these fucking men walking around. You know giving um you know buying roses and shit for these women and stuff but hey look it may not happen because you know look at you look at <laughs> you look at the way men you know women been treating men recently okay the men ain't the men ain't really happy with it man all right they not happy with it okay and um you know hey they look man <laughs> they may not they may not they just might not even get them anything but there's probably gonna be some people out there that do that you know and if you're and if you're if you know you're a hebrew israelite you should not be celebrating valentine's day all right you shouldn't be right you know selling no celebrating no valentine's day or nobody no bit no dumbass bitch no goddamn card getting chocolates and flowers and all that shit you know come on now i tell you we know in verse 25 Wherefore, a man loveth his wife better than father or mother. Verse 26. Yea, many there be that have run out of their wits for women and become servants for their sakes. Many also have perished, have erred and sinned for women. And all for a fucking woman. You know, they gave their strength on the women. Verse 28. And now do ye not believe me? Is not the king great in his power? Do not all regions fear to touch him? You know, a king... You, know, you got the um you know the king all right you know it's locking for the noise in the background but you got a king right and you know you he, he, he you know he and, you know a king in the kingdom you know other 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 regions and nations fear him right verse 29 it says, yet that i see him in the palm of the king's concubine so it's talking about a king's concubine right the daughter of the admirable bardicus sitting at the right hand of the king and taking the crown from the king's head and setting it upon her own head, she also struck the king with her left hand. So she took, so one, she took the king's crown off of his own head, all right, and put it on her head, man. You know, huh. you could get that just sound like something you could get put to death for. You, here it is, the king, all regions fear him, and a woman taking the uh, taking the um, crown off of the king's head, man. Okay. You know, and putting it on her own, and then she says she struck him with her left hand. 
Verse 31, and for yet all this, the king gaped and gazed upon her with open mouth. You know, just sitting there looking at her with his mouth hanging open. If she laughed upon him, he laughed also. You know, and then you see, and I see this verse happen a lot within this society today. You know, she um laughed, you know, he laughed, you know, just to, you know, try to appease her. It says, but if she took any displeasure at him, the king was fain to flatter. When you look at that word fain, all right, and that word flatter, fain means willing. And flatter means, you know, pretty much to like appease him, you know, to, to appease whoever. It says the king was fain to flatter, so he was willing you know, to flatter her, pretty much says that she, why that she might be reconciled to, to him again, you know. So she, you know, so she wouldn't be upset with him anymore. You know, I see that happen a lot in this society, man. You know, hey, look, man. As Apostle Gabar said, when society cracks down, these women are going to be in trouble. You know, now that you know, he said one thing he said was, I can't really <laughs> quote the apostle's words, man, because you know I don't remember him. You know, the apostle Gabar is really eloquent in my eyes. You know. But he's, you know, pretty much he was saying one thing that's boosted these women's pride to astronomical levels is, or to paraphrase in his words, is social media. You know, these women are, think about it, these women on Instagram, they're on all these different things, man. Getting all types of attention and, and love and likes, you know. All of this stuff, man. You know, they could put on their makeup to disfigure how they really look, to cover up blemishes, and then go post on Instagram, you know, and that. You know, and, and get all these likes, and that's gonna boost their pride, man. You know, these women have the pick. You know, pick. You know, because the society the way it is. You know, these women go around. You know, they can um, you know, pick whoever. You know, they they, they choose to sleep with. You know, you know, they they pretty much they can um, you know. In other words, they got options. You know, and really they should just be having one husband. Okay. You know, these women should have one husband, man. All right. You know. But don't worry, because all hell is going to break loose. And a lot of these wicked ass women are going to get put to death. Okay? Let me get this scripture. This is, because I said, you know, their pride. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 16, and verse 18. Pride goeth before destruction. So before, you know, destruction happens to somebody, pride goes, you know, before. And it says, and Holy Spirit before fall. So before someone's downfall, pretty much the scripture is saying, before somebody's downfall, you know, before pride. You know, pretty much a person's the scripture is saying a per Salakia. Pretty much what the scripture is saying is a person that's prideful pretty much has a downfall coming to them. Okay? You know? So and we see that, man. You know, look at Polite, for example. You know, Polite was real prideful, man. Now look at him, you know. He's all locked up now <laughs> in a jail. The Lord got his ass, you know? <laughs> Here it is. You was in front of the apostles and others, the great millstone and the different brothers that teach the doctrine that the apostles and the great millstone teach, you, you know? Like, he was being prideful as hell, man, all right? And now look at you. Now your downfall is coming. You see how your pride came before your downfall, you know? But, you know, applying to these women, you know, hey, man, they're going to they're going to um, fall in order. You know, they're going to be humble. Let me just say that they're going to be really humble. Look at the definition of the word humble. You know, they're going to be humble when all hell breaks loose and it's going to break out. Lord willing, it, it breaks forth this year, 2024, hopeful year of Jacob's trouble. Right. You know. So, yeah, man. All right. Isaiah 4 1 is coming. So, yeah, man, once again, I'm going to read that scripture. Proverbs 31 and 3. You know, it's a really good scripture. Proverbs chapter 31, verse 3. Give not thy strength unto women, nor thy ways to that which destroyeth kings, you know? And once again, man, hey man, work on yourself, you know? Sit. You know, work on yourself, man. I'm outside of, you know, that's besides the point. Alright? I'm but work on yourself. Okay? Don't be all up under some goddamn woman. You know? Look, man. I was telling I was telling a brother the other day, it's so much. You know, other stuff you can do rather than just being concerned with women all day. You could work out. Well, first and foremost, let me let me actually get this scripture here. You know, this is the book of Sirach, 39 and 1. But he that giveth his mind to the law of the Most High, not women, and is occupied in the meditation thereof. See, occupied in the meditation of thereof, you know, 
not occupied in a woman's, you know, not, not occupied in women, will seek out the wisdom of all the ancient and be occupied in prophecies. Not occupied in some goddamn woman. Okay? Sirach 38, 24. The wisdom of a learned man cometh by opportunity of leisure. And he that has little business shall become wise. So in other words, you know, the wisdom a wise man gets, he gets during his downtime. You know, when he has free time, you know, he studies, gets his wisdom, now it's understanding, which, you know, is, you know, one of the things that's going to make a man more precious than fine gold during the time of Jacob's trouble. All right. These women are going to realize that, that a man, you know, and that, that, that man is talking about an elect man. Okay, these women are going to realize that, man, that the elect are the true high value men. That's the high value. I call it the high value man scripture. All right. That ain't going to be just any man. That's talking about an elect man, Isaiah 13 and 12. And Isaiah 4 and 1, them seven women cleaving under one man, taking hold of one man. That said, that's also an, that's, talk, that's also talking about an elect man. You see? You know, but it says, so back to scripture, Sirach 38 and 24. The wisdom of a learned man cometh by opportunity of leisure. Right. The wisdom, you know, the wisdom a wise man has, a learned man, he gets during his downtime. All right. You know, it's free time. Not saying you could do other, you know, not saying you can't do other things, but you, know, you got to make time to get this knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. Says that he that hath little business shall become wise. A business pretty much means, you know, activities, you know, things that you're doing. If you don't have a lot of things going on, all right, then you have enough time, you know, then you, then you have, then you're going to have some time on your schedule, you know, that you could get in this, you know, get in the nozzles and understanding, okay? See, and women take up a lot of time, all right? You know, women take up a lot of time, man, you know, women take up a lot of time, man. And these, and, hey, look, <laughs> this truth ain't going to be out, you know, you ain't going to be able to get these lessons, all right, for too much, um, you know, longer. All right, because the feminine of the word is coming. All right, like Apostle Ronald said, you know, when he was talking about breakdown and stuff, you know, brothers upload the breakdown, roughly paraphrasing his words, brothers upload the breakdowns, okay? And, you know, and it's, you know, E, e he takes them down, you know, he flags the channels, take down the videos and stuff. So when it's gone, it's like, you know, it's, it's whoever has it or not now, you know? So you gotta get it, man, you know? And soon, people ain't gonna be able to find the brothers out there prophesying anymore on the highways and hedges uploading the videos all right this time is coming you know so you know instead of being an understand woman you know get closer with your about shine all right as well as you know work on yourself man you know <laughs> a brother was telling me you know but you know brother was telling me pretty much how um you know you focusing on yourself you know working on yourself you know you get you know pretty much you know you're not really worried about women like that okay think about it you know you go into the gym you're eating healthy you know you start seeing the results you start seeing the fruit you start seeing the fruit of your labor you mean to tell me you're really gonna be you know care you know focused on some goddamn woman hell no you know hell no man you know that's that's one thing about i heard somebody say that that's one thing about an alpha male you know they don't really you know focus on women like that you know they busy okay you know, but yeah, okay, if you brother don't get much women, all right, hey man, you know, we're going to have, just don't even worry about it, to be honest, all right, we're going to have tons of women later on, don't even worry about it, you know, it's easier, you know, easier said than done, but really, man, just don't worry about it, just don't give your, uh, you know, your your strength to women, your, your time, energy, your resource, don't give none of that to women, man, you know, don't, just don't, okay, at the end of the day, a woman is not reliable, okay? <laughs> that, you know, that should be another lesson. A woman is not reliable, okay? By the way, you know, if you do have a woman, man, you know, and you're a brother in this truth, don't tell her, you know, I'm just getting the scripture. Because I meant to bring this out, too, you know. I don't want to forget this. It's the book of Micah 7 and 5. Trust ye not in a friend. Put ye not confidence in a guide. Keep the doors of thy mouth from her that lies in thy bosom. You see that? No, don't be telling her about the truth, man. You know? Don't be telling her about the truth and stuff. You know? Keep the doors of thy mouth from her that lies in thy bosom. Okay? You know? And even in general, like, you know, pretty much, in, you know, also, also in general, you know, you don't really, you know, be telling a woman every everything about you. I believe, let me just check something real quick. Um...
lock you. So this is, I'm going to just read through this real quick. This is the book of Judges, chapter 16, starting in verse 1. Then went Samson to Gaza and saw there an harlot and went in unto her. And it was told the Gazite, saying, Samson has come hither. And they compassed him in and laid wait for him all night in the gate of the city and were quiet all the night, saying, In the morning, when it is day, we shall kill him. Verse 3, And Samson lay till midnight and arose at midnight and took the doors of the gate of the city and the two posts and went away with them bar and all and put them upon his shoulders and carried them up to the top of an hill that is before Hebron. Verse 4 And it came to pass afterward that he loved a woman in the valley of Sorek whose name was Delilah. And the lords of the Philistines came up unto her and said unto her Entice him and see wherein, is, wherein his great strength lieth and by what means we may prevail against him that we may bind him to afflict him and we will give thee every one of us eleven hundred pieces of silver. Okay? So they pretty much trying to huh, set him up, man. <laughs> See, these women ain't reliable. Women, isn't, women are not a reliable figure. All right. You know who's reliable? Read, read Ecclesi the book of Ecclesiastes. So like it. Read the book of Ecclesiasticus. All right, chapter two and verse ten in the Apocrypha. That's going. That's who's going to tell you who's reliable. All right. You know, it tells you, it tells you who's reliable in that scripture. All right, but you see. They, they came to a woman, you know. It says, And the lords of the Philistines came up unto her and said unto her, Entice him, and see wherein his great strength lieth, and by what means we may prevail against him, that we may bind him to afflict us. Salakia, that we may bind him to afflict him. And we will give thee every one of us 1,100 pieces of silver. So they're trying to pretty much get this woman to lie, you know, to pretty much set Samson up, you know. Verse 6, you know, they're trying to, you know, use her to get to him. You see, verse 6, and Delilah said to Samson, tell me, I pray thee, wherein thy great strength lieth, and wherewith thou mightest be bound to afflict thee. Verse 7, and Samson said unto her, if they bind me with seven green widths that were never dried, then shall I be weak and be as another man. Then the lords of the Philistines brought up to her seven green widths, which had not been dried, and she bound him with them. Now there were men lying in wait, abiding with her in the chamber. And she said unto him, the Philistines be upon thee, Samson, and he break the widths. As a thread of tow is broken when it touches the fire, so his strength was not known. Verse 10, And Delilah said unto Samson, Behold, thou hast mocked me, and told me lies. Now tell me, I pray thee, wherewith thou mightest be bound? And he said unto her, If they bind me fast with new ropes that, were never, that never were occupied, then shall I be weak, and be as another man. Delilah therefore took new ropes, and bound him therewith, and said unto him, The Philistines be upon thee, Samson. And there were liars in wait, abiding in the chamber, and he brake them off, his arms like a thread. And Delilah said unto Samson, Hitherto thou hast mocked me and told me lies. You know, so pretty much, you know, he was, you know, she was, um, you know, he, you know, he wasn't, you know, giving, giving up the, you know, the secret. All right. But check this out. Verse 13, it says, And Delilah said unto Samson, Hitherto thou hast mocked me and told me lies. Tell me wherewith thou mightest be bound. And he said unto her, If thou weavest the seven locks of my head with the web, she fastened it with the pin and said unto Samson, The Philistines be upon thee, Samson. And he waked out of his sleep and went away with the pin of the beam and with the web. And she said unto him, How canst thou say I love thee when thine heart is not with me? Thou hast mocked me these three times and hast not told me wherein thy great strength lieth. And it came to pass when she pressed him daily with her words and urged him. You see, that's another thing, man. You know, these women just keep pressing. And sometimes, you know, you really got to. That's the thing you can't be caring too much man you know just you know different things you learn about women you know you really just can't be caring a lot you know it's easier you know said it done but after a while you know it, it gets pretty easy you know you don't really you don't really start giving a fuck once you really really understand how these women are you know <clears throat> but you know this is the point because i've seen women do this before you know you just gotta be like you know this guy not tell them be willing to walk away pretty much be willing to walk away she keep pressing you and you don't want to tell her, hey man, just, just go, just go ahead somewhere, man. You know? And I'ma, you know, get another scripture in a minute. Alright? Judges 16 and verse 16. And it came to pass when she pressed him daily with her words and urged him so that his soul was vexed unto death, that he told her all his heart 
and said unto her, There hath not come a razor upon mine head, for I have been a Nazarite unto the Most High from my mother's womb. If I be shaven, then my strength will go from me, and I shall become weak and be like any other man. So he told her the secret, and guess what happened? Verse 18, And when Delilah saw that he had told her all his heart, heart meaning mind again, she sent and called for the lords of the Philistines, saying, Come up this once, for he has showed me all his heart or mind. Then the lords of the Philistines came up under her and brought money in their hand. And she made him sleep upon her knees. And she called for a man, and she caused him to shave off the seven locks of his head. And she began to afflict him, and his strength went from him. Okay, let me see what that says in NLT from the last couple of verses right there. All right. Judges, the 16th chapter. And that's something, man. Today is Valentine's Day, bro. <laughs> you know? Um, block it. Let's see what it says. <clears throat> I'm going to just read through that in the NLT and then give them a verse. All right? So, verse, verse 16, verses 15 through... Uh, 19 one more time real quick it says and delilah pouted how can you tell me i love you when you don't share your secrets with me <laughs> says you've made fun of me three times now and you still haven't told me what makes you so strong she tormented him with her nagging day after day until he was sick to death of it finally samson shared his secret with her my hair has never been cut he confessed for i was dedicated to the most high as a nazarite from birth if my head was shaved my strength would leave me and i would become as weak as anyone else verse 18 and delilah realized he had finally told her the truth so she sent for the philistine rulers come back one more time she said for he has finally told me his secret so the philistine rulers returned with the money in their hands delilah lulled samson to sleep with his head in her lap and then she called in a man to shave off the seven locks of his hair. And this way she began to bring him down and his strength left him. See? Yeah, man. You know, so that's just, you know, another thing. You heard me telling everything, you know, women everything, man. You know? And then I'm going to get, you know, ended with this real quick. This is the book of Sirach. Which is also, Sirach, Ecclesiastic is also known as Sirach. Chapter 25. And get right to the point. Actually, verse 24 through 26. Of the woman came the beginning of sin, and through her we all die. You see that? So of the woman came the beginning of sin. Through her we all die. So, so Valentine's Day and shit, man. You know, these fucking people talking about, oh, I gotta do, I, do you have a Valentine? Man, fuck no, I ain't got no goddamn Valentine. Man, I don't do that bullshit. All right? I don't celebrate that shit. Okay? You know, you uplift the women. And I bet you... It's more men getting women stuff than women getting men. I bet you that. Okay? You know? It says, of the woman came the beginning of sin and through her we all die. So, the you know, this society uplifts women, but women is not to be uplifted. Through her we all die. Verse 25, give the water no passage, neither wicked woman liberty to gather abroad. Here's the point, verse 26. If she go not as thou wouldest have her, cut her off from my flesh and give her a bill of divorce and let her go. So, in other words, she being a demon to you, you know, she, she just, you know, just being hard to deal with, difficult, etc. Cut that bitch off, man. You know, you might have some feelings, but in the you know overall, it's best that you just cut her off, man. So, Lord willing, this was edifying. I'm gonna give all the praise, honor, and glory to whom it rightfully belongs, which is Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai Bahashem Rakak Wadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Beit Millstone, who rule well. The other ones to learn this truth from. Peace, blessings, and salutations to the elect. Peace to the Hebrew Shalom, Shalom to the elect.